In this R presentation, we are going to look at the scale function, which is quite a handy little function in statistics. Now, the data set we're going to use is from the MT Cars uh, data set. It's an inbuilt data set in R. Uh, it's just because I'm going to use these values because they're particularly handy to access if you want to try uh, what I'm doing yourself. So X is empty cars and the weight, the WT uh, column from empty cars and likewise we're going to use miles per gallon. I'm going to use this data set in a few of my presentations. So anyway, what does the scale version, uh, scale function do? It's used to determine standardized values for each element in a data set. And it's a very useful data transformation technique that is used in regression analyses and clustering analyses. So, uh, what is a standardized value? It's simply the number of standard deviations that va a value is away from the mean. So, how we might compute it there is for some observation xi, it is computed as the standardized value is zi uh, equals xi minus x bar, the sample mean, divided by the sample standard deviation. There's a little typo there, sorry about that. So it's a uh, straightforward enough, if you're familiar with z-scores, it's, it's very similar to a z-score. So let's look at it there, let's bring up R here for a second, let's just look with some of the output. Here's my data set here, scale of x, uh, let's look at x first, uh, there we have x and scale of x there we have it there. It presents all the output in a column. Let's scroll down to the bottom here and go down here a second. So just bear with me now. Uh, there we go. So it is the uh, essentially presents for each of those values it presents the standardized score. And at the bottom here it says uh, center and scale. That is essentially, just going back to my slide here for a second, that is essentially just the mean and standard deviation of the data set. Okay. And we could do it for y as well. Let's have a look at y. We could actually do that for a column of a, a, a data frame as long as all the values are numeric. So uh, let's go here a second. Uh, scale, C bind, just make a something that. that looks like a data frame there. There we have the two values there. Okay, and that is the end of this presentation.